Okay, when you're ready, please. Um, no, not, not relief. Um, you know, I always felt we would achieve the objective. Um, I think uh, tonight we highlighted where we are. You know, I think, um, of course, we'd have loved to have played more fluidly and scored more goals. Uh, we played a team that came to make it really difficult for us to create chances. Um, we had some good individual attacking moments, but without being able to make the final ball or there were blocks or fouls that broke the game up. Um, so that was frustrating. We're, we're having to find a, a way of winning um, by being a bit more savvy uh, because we're, we're not flowing with the ball. Um, but we have got goal scorers and um, uh, you know, the important thing was to stay resilient through what was a difficult period, probably half an hour from the end, uh, where there's a bit of anxiety you could see, uh, important save from Joe Hart. Um, and we have to become a team that score late goals, not concede them. And that's become a little bit of a theme over the last few games. So um, was it the, the performance we wanted and the night we wanted? No, absolutely not. Um, but when I you know, was given the job uh, to keep things steady a year ago, the objective was to qualify for Russia. Um, now we have the opportunity to look, how do we evolve the team? Uh, you know, we had to keep winning. Um, and we have to keep trying to give young players an opportunity to mature. So to marry all of those things is, is difficult. And um, I said to somebody earlier, you know, we qualified 2-2 against Greece. It was, it was a, an exciting game at Old Trafford, but we didn't play very well. But everybody remembers David Beckham's goal and the drama of it, and we leave on a high. And that was on the back of a campaign where I played in Finland and we drew nil-nil and we got killed by everybody, um, which was also a critical point. So, you know, is this team exactly where we want it to be? Of course it isn't, you know, it's, it is young and it is, is learning how to win. And I've got to, you know, say the players give me absolutely everything and I couldn't ask any more of them individually. They, they're going to improve, um, but it is a work in progress. Yeah, look, it, always we have a responsibility to um, create chances and bring excitement to get the crowd excited. So um, we can't expect that they that they make it a cauldron without us uh, without us doing that. But I also I've got to give credit to the opponents because they made it really difficult to create those chances. We, we know we've got some uh, exciting attacking players. We know the speed and the pace that they've got. They limited the opportunities for that to, to have an effect. Um, so what do we do? Well, we have to show the resilience that whatever the atmosphere and whatever uh, the feeling, our job's to get the result. Uh, and in the end for English football, crucial to be at a World Cup, absolutely crucial, you know, for everybody. Uh, probably quite critical for the economy as well. So that's just one more thing that we have to try and make sure we get right. But um, uh, yeah, look, I'm not going to hide and say uh, we're exactly where we want to be or the performance was what we'd have liked it to be. Um, but we have had, uh, in my period in charge, I think six wins, two draws. We have one of the best defensive records in Europe in qualifying. Um, we've got players that we think can score goals and we know exactly where we need to improve. Well, I think we, um, again, we, we know the players inside out and um, you know, the pleasing thing for me, I thought, um, again, Marcus had, had really exciting moments early in the game. Um, in the first half in particular, we were controlled in our build-up. We weren't panicking in our build-up. I thought in the second half, we got a little bit uh, impatient with that and, and started to take risks that, well, not risks, but not play positionally disciplined. Um, 
and then you then you lose some rhythm. Um, I thought Jesse had a decent impact on the game when he came on, provided us a better link. Um, and then we decided at the end to, to change the shape a little bit to get us two forwards up, up the field because we could expose uh, counter um, and deal with the four forwards that they'd put on. So, yeah, I'd need to watch the game back again to, to be able to analyse in, in more detail. Um, but... Um, I go back to, I think, what the team have been through over 18 months. Um, and as a young team, what they're having to deal with in terms of uh, expectation, uh, criticism of their performances, it's tough for them. It really is tough. So I think they're young players that we have to try and get behind. They're giving absolutely everything they've got. They don't have Champions League winning medals throughout this group. They don't have league championship winning medals. They're a work in progress. Um, but they will give everything they've got for the shirt and they are going to improve over the next few years. So uh, they're suffering a little bit the consequence of 25 years, 30 years, 40 years of whatever. Um, that isn't their fault. Um, so we've got to you know, give them the belief um, and give them the backing to help them go and achieve. I won't release any, no. Um, I mean, we have to assess uh, where we are injury-wise, but we but, uh, won't, won't be releasing any players. It's important that we, we're a squad, we, we stay together as a squad. Um, maybe some point tonight we might enjoy the fact we're at a World Cup, although uh, uh, you know, that might take a few minutes. Um, but um, we also, you know, there'll be England supporters going to Lithuania and we, we have a duty to put a, a performance on. Uh, we want to stay unbeaten. Uh, we want to go and win the game. Um, one or two players that we'd definitely like to have a look at. Um, and it's one of very few games we have now to, to build towards the World Cup. Nigel. Do you think you've got the time, Gareth, overall to get the team where you want to be by the time we go to the World Cup? Well, it depends in terms of you know, where, where would you like to be and what's realistic about how quickly you can improve. Um, what we've got to do is maximise the abilities that we have and the capability that we have. So, you know, are we going to become Spain in the next eight months? No, we're not. You know, no, we're not. But respectfully, they've got a squad full of players that have won league titles, won Champions League medals. So. Um, you know, we, we keep talking about world-class players and, and, and I come back to until you win things and until you are able to really perform and prove yourself on that stage, then you can't consider yourself in that company. But our lads now have a chance to play on that stage again and um, that hasn't always been the case. Gareth, are you, you and the players aware of the impatience perhaps in some of the the supporters? And well, very aware of it, but um, you know, in this job and in terms of playing for England, you've got to be resilient, um, and you have to stick to your, your beliefs. You have to stick together as a group, um, and we're in the business of winning, and we have to keep winning. Um, so. Look, we'd love everybody to be fully supportive and right behind us. There's, there's nothing better than, than feeling that. You know, you, you sense it and you feel it. Um, we have to give the performances that, that allow that to happen. We have to, you know, give people that hope and, uh, and encouragement. Um, but in the meantime, we've got to keep winning matches.